Fulham starting 11 from the 2010 Europa League final. Where are they now? In goal that night was Mark Schwarzer. The Australian stopper had a lengthy Premier League career, beginning in the late 90s when he swapped Bradford City for Middlesbrough before joining Fulham in 2008. Schwarzer traded in his gloves in 2013 for a place on the Chelsea bench, making just three league appearances for the Blues before moving to Leicester to play back up once again, where he managed six appearances. The Aussie was part of Leicester's Premier League winning squad, but would only make League Cup appearances during the Foxes' stunning season. Now retired, Schwarzer is often seen as a pundit, defending every goalkeeper in sight. Because someone has to, I guess. At right back was Chris Baird. When you think of Southampton Academy graduates, you'd be excused for missing out Chris Baird. While rarely spectacular, the Northern Irishman has been a reliable figure in a variety of different positions for both club and country. Baird spent six seasons at Craven Cottage before joining Reading, Burnley, West Brom and Derby, as well as making a brief return on loan to Fulham in 2016. Still with the Rams, Baird retired from international football last summer after representing Northern Ireland at Euro 2016. Centre back was Aaron Hughes. Another Northern Irishman, Hughes isn't playing as high a standard as Baird, who was just two years younger than him. Hughes has had a pretty sporadic career since leaving Fulham in 2014. The defender stayed in England for a while, playing for QPR and Brighton before heading abroad and lapping up the Australian sun by joining Melbourne City, and then lining up for Kerala Blasters in the Indian Super League, who were founded by cricket legend Sachin Tendulkar and are currently managed by Steve Koppel. Now aged 37, Hughes is playing in Scotland with Hearts, having just signed a new one-year deal. He was alongside Breda Hangeland. The Norwegian defender was relatively unknown when he moved to Fulham in 2008, but it didn't take long for the fans to fall in love with the massive centre-back, who had previously worked with boss Roy Hodgson and Viking in Norway. Hangeland's departure from Fulham was far from harmonious, being released by the club despite still having a year left on his contract. The defender would join Palace in 2014, spending two seasons at Selhurst Park, but was released twice by the club, once in 2015 and then for good in 2016. Now retired, did you know that Breda Hangeland was actually born in Houston, Texas? Nope, didn't think so. At left back that night was Paul Koncheski. It's been a strange one for Koncheski ever since that Europa League final. The left back would join Liverpool, where he thought he must have loads more famous European nights ahead of him. That didn't happen and he was shipped out on loan to Forest after just six months. Koncheski would join Leicester in 2011, but spent the title winning season out on loan at QBR. He then briefly joined Gillingham, but is now playing non-league football for Billericay Town alongside Jamie O'Hara. In midfield it's Damien Duff. It looked like Duff's career was turning to mush when he swapped Chelsea for Newcastle in 2006, but he managed to get it back up and running. After condemning Newcastle to relegation with his own goal on the final day, the Irishman would jump off the sinking ship and stay in the Premier League with Fulham. Much like Aaron Hughes, Duff would go down under after Fulham, joining Melbourne City for a year, and then returning to Ireland with Shamrock Rovers, where he is now believed to be working as a coach. In the middle of the park was Dixon Atuhu. By the time the 2010 Europa League final came around, Dixon Atuhu had probably just about got over Joey Barton trying to assault them in a Tyneweir derby back in 2007. The Nigerian spent four years at Craven Cottage, heading to Blackburn in 2012 for two seasons and then joining AIK in Stockholm, who were his last club. Also in centre midfield was Danny Murphy. The England international captain Fulham in the Europa League final, after they knocked out Juventus, Shakhtar Donetsk, Wolfsburg and Hamburg en route to the final. Murphy left Fulham in 2012, joining Blackburn for a year in the championship, but called time on his career in October 2013. Since then, Murphy has moved into the media and is regularly seen on Match of the Day trying to be as grumpy as Mark Lawrenson used to be. Out wide was Simon Davies. The Welshman scored the goal that took the final to extra time, cancelling out Diego Forlan's opener just five minutes after the Uruguayan had given Atletico the lead. Following his release from Fulham in 2013, Davies would join one of his former sides, amateur club Solver AFC, who play in the Pembrokeshire League Division 2 and has to pay subs for the privilege. Davies was most recently seen at the final game at White Hart Lane, being welcomed on at the pitch with various other Tottenham legends. Next up it's Zoltan Gira. The Hungarian's time at Fulham was sandwiched in between two spells with West Brom, who he re-signed for in 2011. In 2014, Gira returned to Hungary and joined another one of his former clubs, Ferran Kavaros, where it looked like he was going to ride off into the sunset and gracefully end his career. But no. 
We all saw Gira at last summer's European Championships, and the midfielder is still playing for that Hungarian team that I really can't pronounce at the age of 38. Good on all these ex fulham players who are still playing the beautiful game. And finally, up front was Bobby Zamora. The England international, yes he was capped twice, had caused world class defender and World Cup winner Fabio Cannavaro all sorts of problems when Fulham beat Juventus earlier in the competition, but he failed to find the net in the final. Zamora would join QBR in 2012, scoring the winner in the 2014 playoff final to break Derby hearts. One year later, he would join former club Brighton where he narrowly missed out on promotion again, retiring from the game in December 2016 due to injury, and is now working alongside Rio Ferdinand and Mark Noble on a social housing scheme. Good on them. So that's where Fulham's Europa League finalists are now. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.